Hey, oh. we're Coterie. We're chatting here with Milky. Coterie is us four. We're four brothers that grew up um, in Perth on West Coast Drive. Uh, we originally come from Aotearoa and we just make music in our, in our living rooms, the music that we love and music that represents us. Coterie is a word we found online. It's a French word and it basically means a group of people that have the same passions and that's really who we are, Coterie. West Coast Drive, our new single, kind of sums up where we live on the coast. It's about summer and kind of that feeling the first time the warm sun of summer hits you, hits your face, hits your skin and you know you're in the car with all your mates just cruising down the coastline having uh, what feels like the best moment of your life. That's West Coast Drive, just a casual surf rock anthem that uh, kind of reminds us of home and hopefully it does for you too. If you see where we live, uh, we live along West Coast Drive in Perth, WA. It's just beautiful stretches of pearly white sand, turquoise waters, and you know the waves are good. And any given Wednesday, in the middle of the day, it looks like no one in Perth has a job because there's ten thousand people lying on the beach, walking along the beach, and that is literally the visual and the feeling of the music that we're making. You know, we just writing songs and music that comes from the inside of us and that's the stuff that we're soaking up just uh, 12 months of the year summer sun <laughs> yeah i also work for wa tourism so <laughs> there's obviously the chorus leave it on the west coast drive and i'll see you on the west coast drive i think that kind of embodies any cares or worries that you might have just get to the beach get in the sun uh, the last kind of two years a global pandemic everyone was stuck inside and we started writing stoked music when we went outside again and that's kind of it really but then again the opening line reminiscing the bliss essence of these summer days that's our life that's just if it's winter we're trying to leave and find summer and when it's summer we're just living in the nostalgia We're very collaborative in our songwriting. Um, I think the best of everything comes from all of us. Uh, we add in our little, you know, pieces uh, here and there. Uh, Tyler definitely comes with a strong melody uh, into a lot of the meets, and um, it sort of just snowballs from there. We will come, and you join us, and make lots of noise. Um, no, we, um, we just try to leave it all on the stage. Um, it sounds cliche, but I think we probably have the most fun when we're playing live. And we sort of write our music based on what it would be like playing live as well, if that makes sense. Even like West Coast Drive, all the guitars and stuff, we try to get the watery sounds going um, and the reverbs. And we just, when we're recording it, we're trying to picture it how it would be if we're playing a show. So. Um, yeah, we, we literally, we just attack the stage and um, just play really loud so you can't tell when we stuff up anyway. The Perth music scene, in my opinion, it's the scene, this is the scene that we have come up in, but it's unreal. There's so many good bands along the coast. Something that's beautiful about Perth is, like if you're doing anything, it's probably on the coast, and nearly every bar has got a killer band in it. Um, you know, like Space Jane come out of WA, and we've got bands like Great Gable just dropped a killer album, Death by Denim, Dice, South Summit, like Dulcie, all these killer acts that are just like sharing the coastline with us and we're all just trying to make music as best we can. I think a lot of the time people think that Perth is isolated and that's a disadvantage, but we're just over there soaking up good vibes and making tunes that we think's cool, kind of untainted and unfiltered by the world really.
Our parents were musos. Um, that's how we ended up in Perth. Um, outside of them, uh, probably, I think Kings of Leon are pretty cool. Did a lot for us when we were um, learning how to play. Um, so, yeah. Off the wall, Michael Jackson. What's that old school film? Lords of Dogtown. <laughs> Miley Cyrus. Neon by John Mayer. <laughs> I actually, I actually only heard it once, and then I played. No, I'm checking. The Holy Doolies. The alternative Wiggles. Two sold out shows in Sydney tomorrow. <laughs> Uh, the best concert that I have been to would potentially be Angus and Julia Stone. Um, they did a day on the green. Uh, such a vibe. The Chris Brown one, I can't remember the name of the album, but Chris Brown. Spice Girl. Man, all time. They're, they're still cool. Spicy. Yeah, here we go. Is it f f his forehead spice? <laughs> no, this is a beanie spice. Always late spice. <laughs> Mustache spice. Um, and uh, yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I know. And lazy spice. <laughs> Underplayed it. Charismatic spice. <laughs> Very talented spice. <laughs> we just played River Stage in Brisbane two nights in a row. I think it was like twelve to fifteen thousand people. That's the most memorable show we've ever played. Uh, walking on stage, you know, we've got like three songs out, and uh, we played a forty-five minute set. And it was unreal, like just to have the crowd froth a good time with what we think is good tunes. So, yeah. On the music industry, bro, Kanye, off the bat, he's like, whether you like his influence or not, even the sound of an organic drum, the kick has been EQ'd and mixed differently because he brought out 808s and all that business. Probably David Bowie. Just, I'll just leave that there. Go for it, boy. <laughs> Be like Frank Ocean. We're brothers, so we've grown up jamming together our whole lives. Um, I think when we we wrote, when specifically when West Coast Drive was written, um, I knew we had a good thing going. And then we could sort of step out of the garage at home and try and do something. Um, so that for me was pretty, uh, you know, substantial moment. Before that, for me, um, in the garage where there was like one summer over school holidays, I was probably like 13, where we sort of got our, uh, our chops together a little bit more, um, sweating it out in there. That sounds odd, but... Um, yeah, there was like a summer when I was 13, we just jammed like every day, um, and uh, yeah, good memories. Um, probably when I realised that this is all I can actually do. <laughs> oh, oh, that's the answer. Um, always loved music, uh, probably two pivotal points, watching um, our dad play guitar is unreal and that was a bit of a moment and then when aha hutch um shake heartbreak dropped that was uh, definitely uh, i'm gonna do that <laughs>